So check your answers for the percentage of amounts exit pass that you did on Monday. And we're looking for you to have written your working in your jotter so that you can in fact check it. So this is all about working out percentages of and we need you to remember and recognise if you're asked to work out 50% of something and we would expect you to know that that means that you're doing that's the same thing as a half of something. So if you're doing a half of £400 hopefully you're able to say that means it's your answer should have been £200. So if you're looking through the list of answers here, we can see that that should have been answer C that you chose. For question 2, you're working out 25% of something. And again, you've learned that 25% is the same as the easy fraction one quarter. And one quarter of something means that you are dividing by four. So you will have to do a little into. So four into 200. If you're doing that four into two, it doesn't go. So you carry your two over. Four into 20. Well, four times what makes 20 is what you're saying there. So four times five makes 20. And then four into nothing. Zero. So your answer here should have been 50. So looking through and selecting A as our answer. Right, back to one that's got 50% again. So again, 50% of something, you should have been saying, well, that's the same as a half of 500. And again, writing down your into. So you're doing two into 500, so 2 goes into 5, 2 times, remainder 1, 2 into 10 means 5 times, and then 2 into 0 is 0. So your answer here should have been 250, which would have been answer B. Question 4 was back to being 25% of something, and 25% is the same thing as a quarter. So you are doing a quarter of 600. So that should be looking for you to do four into when you're quartering something. It's dividing by four. So we're doing four into 600. So four goes into six, one, remainder two. Four into 20 is five. And four into zero is zero. So your answer here, should have been 150, it should have been answer C. The last question, back to 50% again. So remember 50% is a half. So we're doing a half of £65. So writing out your into part, we're doing 2 into £65. So 2 goes into 6 three times, no remainders, two into five goes twice with one remainder, remember your decimal point, two into ten is five and two into zero is zero. So your answer should be £32.50 and, and that would have been answer D. So check your work and look at what it was you got wrong or why you got them wrong and make some improvements when you do the next practice sheet.